Okay, so good day class. Okay, so Munda na tayo sa madugo nating laban, madugo nating review kasi kailangan nating puspusang maghanda sa nalalapit nating midterms na next week na. So, another disclaimer sa mga nanonood nito, ang um, pakiingatan na ma-send yan ang link sa iba na outside ng ating college community dahil ang video na to ay exclusive lang sa Granby um, College of Technology, Science and Technology. So, ito ay private video or private thing. So, dapat yung community lang natin ang maka consumpt nito, okay? So, let's go with number one na muna. What is the importance of constitution? Okay, so, you all know that constitution is the fundamental law of the land. So, any law na ipapasa eh, should be avoid or connive with constitution or other or, or any else, it will be declared as what? As unconstitutional and it will be declared as void. Diba? So, kailangan lahat umaakto o umaayon sa ating constitution. So, isa sa mga importansya ng constitution, of course, letter A, constitution protects people against the arbitrary rulers whose powers would otherwise be used for their own benefit. So, constitution is like an umbrella that protects us. It's a, like a rule of law. So, let's go with number two. Constitution ensures that the government does not own the state. This means that it simply manages the state under the authority of the higher law or behalf of the citizen. Number three. In preamble of 1987, Philippine Constitution, who are the called the sovereign? Diba? Masabi nga, we, the sovereign Filipino people, employing the aid of of Almighty God, diba? the Filipino people. Number four, a city ordinance prohibiting ugly and dark-skinned person to enter a mall has been enacted by the city of Manila. Is this constitutional? No, may papasang batas na hindi pwedeng pumasok ang mga pangit at may itim na balat sa SM City, um, sa City of Manila. So, of course, no. Grabe naman sila. So, that is, um, it's not constitutional. It's unconstitutional because it's an obvious violation of substantive due process in creating such ordinance. No law should be past, ba? Diba? Discriminating a group of people. Let's go with number five. Number five, what is the effect of violation of due process when due process is called is, is violated with due process, when due process is violated what is the consequences? So, ano yung consequences na kakarapin natin kapag ang due process ay nalabag? Of course, if it is substantive aspect, the law will be unconstitutional. If it's a procedural, the ruling of the tribunal court or committee will be invalid, but the law itself will remain valid. Number six, what are the two minimum requirements of due process and administrative proceeding? So, we have noticed and hearing. That's number six. Actually, na-perfecto ng isa sa mga sudyante ko eh, no? And then, yung ibang ano pala yung quiz pala. Pero it's including itong quest na to. Itong question at number six. So, seven, the law which hears before it condemns. That's due process of law. Pinapakinggan ka muna niya, no? Bago yung maging judgmental, no? So, number eight. An employee was determ- that, um, terminated from work without any notice and without knowing the reason. So, is it a violation? Grabe, no? Alam mo na, eh, violation na to, eh, no? That is violation of procedural due process. Pero bigla ka nalang tatanggal-tanggal, eh, no? Wala mo lang karason-rason. That's violation of due process. Nine, the passport of a person sought from criminal offense may be cancelled without hearing to compel his return to the country he was pled. Agree, this is a valid exercise of police power. Napakalawak talaga ng police power. 
So, kapag isang tao ay may criminal offenses, pwedeng mo cancel ang kanyang um, passport without hearing para lang mapabalik siya sa um, to compel his return to the country was split. Para lang bumalik siya kung saan siya galing. So, that is um, valid exercise of police power. Without hearing, ha? So, 10 filthy restaurants, maybe summary podlock, and the interest of public health and badly houses to protect the public morals. So, yes, no? Grabe sila. Kasi, kung madumi naman ang mga restaurants nila, no? Kailangan talagang ipadlock yan. Or else, marami magkakasakit. That is a valid exercise of police power. Let's go with 11. Um, reason in case of non-requirement of notice and hearing. So, what is the answer? That is because of the nature of the property involved or the urgency of the need to protect the general welfare from a clear and present danger. So, we have letter C. I don't say na most of the question will be came from here, but all I've been saying is that you have to do your review. Kasi, there would be some instances wherein pwedeng kunin dito or diba, at least meron di kayo masisiro. 12. The following are substantive requirement in LGUs in order that ordinance, ordinance may be considered valid. So, ano yung mga requirements para masabi natin na ang ordinance ay valid at alin yung hindi kasama because we have the word except. So, it must be unreasonable. So, all of of course, all of the ordinance must be reasonable. If it's that so, na unreasonable yan, hindi yan requirement para masabi nating valid ang isang ordinansa. Let's go with 13. The following are essential requisite of due process in criminal proceeding. So, alin yung hindi? No? Alin yung hindi na requisite ng due process? So, that when the judges is rendered even without lawful hearing. Grabe, no? May judgment agad, wala malang hearing. No, that is, that is the, ano, uh, hindi yan due process at all. Okay? Kasi due process is, it hears before it condemns. Diba? So, 14. How do courts require jurisdiction over a person of the accused? Paano tayo, paano nakakakuha ang korte ng jurisdiction sa mga, sa person of, over the person of the accused? Of course, diba? True. Arrest or voluntary surrender. Kasi that's the way that the court will be acquired jurisdiction. Kapag inaresto nila, or talagang sumuko yung tao dun sa um, police. The, or the court itself. It the, that's the time they could acquire jurisdiction. Let's go to 15. May citizenship be considered as the basis for substantial distinction? So, that is yes. 16. Can age be basis for classification? No, grabe. Oo naman, syempre. Yes, because minors are subject to influence that may be vulnerable to the crimes committed during night time. So, 17. Philippine nationality law is based upon the principles of... Actually, I was really shocked na may student na nakatama dito kasi... Parang it shows as an evidence na they are doing their advanced reading. So, I do hope na gagawin din yun na hindi lang naman ng number of students. Sana lahat kayo, ba? So, that's letter A. Jus Sangunis. <clears throat> Let's go with 18. The right of the people to secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizure of whatever nature for any purpose shall be inviolable. Let's go with 19. The following are the factors in determining the reasonab reasonableness of search and seizure. So, except, so, ano mga factor na hindi nagsasabi? So, we have the except. We ha hindi nagsasabi o nagdedetermine na ng pagiging reasonable ng search and seizure na ginagawa ng mga police or any law enforcers. So, that is D, the, the attitude and character of the person to be arrested or owner of the place to be searched. Let's go with 20. What is the nature of constitutional right against unlawful search and seizure? 
So, ano yung nature ng constitutional right laban sa unlawful search and um, see, um, search and seizure. So, let's it's A, personal. It can only be invoked by party whose right was violated. 21. Can the constitutional guarantee against unreasonable search and seizure and arrest be invoked against any person? So, no, diba? Because the constitutional guarantee against unreasonable search and seizure and arrest only applies against the government and the law enforcement officer. 22. So, it's elementary principles. Napaka-simple. Nako, grabe. Pag hindi mo to alam, wala ka ng karapatang mag-second year. Grabe ka na. So, you should know this. So, a blank is an order in writing issued in the name of the people of the Philippines, signed by the judge, and directed to a peace officer commanding him to search for personal property described therein and bring it before the court. That is, of course, it's search warrant. Grabe ka, pag di mo yun alam. 23. May search warrant be issued for search for seizure of the house. When we say seizure, um, may kailangan kang kunin, di ba? It could be, uh, um, for a pernala, may kailangan kong upiskahin sa bahay kasi illegal or um, uh, ito ay um, order ng court na pwedeng gamitin ebidensya, di ba? So, Ang search warrant ba ay pwedeng ma-issue for seizure of the house? So, what is the answer? That is no. It would be physically impossible for any law enforcement officer for removal property to be brought before the court. 23. So, let's go with what are the pers... Kasi ba seizure of the house eh, mismong bahay yung kukunin mo. ba So, immobile properties napakahirap. Pwede bang ilagay si search warrant na kunin yung buong bahay? Diba? So, hindi. Diba? Kasi hindi nga yung matatanggal. Immobile properties at dadali mo sa court. So, that's impossible. Let's go with 24. What are the personal properties that can be seized by virtue of search warrant? Ano yung mga personal property na yan? So, stolen or embezzled and other proceeds or fruits of the offense. No? Okay? Yan lang. 25. For how long a search warrant is valid? 10 days ha. Counted from its issue once. Let's go with 26. 26. An order in writing issued in the name of the people of the Philippines signed by the judge directed the peace officer commanding him to take a person into custody in order that he may bound to answer for the commission of the offense. Grabe ka. Pag di mo to alam, grabe ka na, ba? Warrant of arrest. 27. 27. For how long is a search warrant? Or warrant of arrest? Sorry, sorry. How long a warrant of arrest is valid? Gano'ng katagal nagiging valid ang isang warrant of arrest? So, that is A, no? Valid until sir. But is this duty? It is the duty of the part of the police officer to make the return of the warrant within 10 days from its receipt. Kasi, kung ang search warrant, ang validity lang ng search warrant is 10 days. Pero, ang warrant of arrest, valid yan hanggat hindi yan nasiserve or hindi niya ginagawa ang kanyang um, purpose na mga arresto ng tao. Pero, kailangan ibalik yan ng police officer or law enforcement officer sa korte in 10 days from its issue once. Okay, so tago na muna yun doon. Let's go with 28. Um, 28. The following are requisites, requisites of valid of valid warrant. Except, so you should be um, alert with the word except kasi it's negative. Diba? So, kung, kung except, hindi na to requisite ng isang valid warrant. So, they must not be particularly described the person or things to be sized or place to be searched. Kasi, 
a warrant to be valid, kailangan andun eh, kumpleto. Diba? Then, describe yung tao na i-arrestuin, yung bagay na kukunin, at yung lugar kung saan kayo magsisearch. It's not valid at all kung ang aarestuan mo si Juan de la Cruz, pero ang nakalagi sa warrant mo ay si Juan de la Cruz de la Torre. So, iba, di ba? It's not valid at all. Let's go with 27. 20, ay 29, such facts and circumstances antecedent to the issuance of the warrant that are themselves are in themselves sufficient to induce a reasonably cautious man to rely upon them and act in pursuance thereof. So, that is proximate cause in the arrest warrant in search warrant. Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi kasama search warrant. Si pala yun. Probable cause in arrest warrant. 30. This refers to such facts and circumstances which would lead a reasonably discreet and prudent man to believe that the offense is being decommitted and then the object sought is in connection with the crime and it can be found in the place sought to be searched. So that is 30. Probable cause um, in search warrant. Thirty-one is the de- determination of probable cause by prosecutor the same as determination of probable cause by the judge. Pareho ba sila ng way to determine probable cause when it comes to prosecutor and the judge? No. You know what? It's no. They're not the same. Thirty-two. What is the stricter issuance of warrant of arrest or issuance of search warrant? Uh, which is stricter? Pinaka, I mean, pini, sino yung pinaka-strict sa kanila? Yung warrant, issuance of warrant of arrest or issuance of search warrant? So, 32, that is issuance of search warrant. Pinaka-strict kasi ito yung pinaka-maraming kailangan sundin. Kasi, it's house, ba? Diba? Personal properties are involved here. So, that issuance of search warrant is more stricter than issuance of warrant of arrest. Let's go with 33. A search warrant issued by the RTC judge of Manila was executed by, executed by the police officer directed to execute it to two weeks after issues to one since police officer filed for vacation leave. Is the execution of search warrant valid? No, no, kasi because search warrant is valid within 10 days from its issuance. Eh, kung nagbakasyon ka pa... No? So, that would be the answer. Okay, let's go with 33. Ito na. Supposing that the warrant of arrest did not particularly describe the person to be arrested, but only the name of Boitigas. No, hindi malang sinabi kung anong pangalan sa warrant of arrest. Ang nakalagay lang is Boitigas. Incidentally, the police officer assigned to execute the warrant of arrest. May personal knowledge siya sa isang tao nagngangalang Boy Tigas. At sinabi niya sa judge, Your Honor, you know what, you, you know, your warrant is vague you, but luckily, I personally know someone known as Boy Tigas. So, sabi niya, Your Honor, yung warrant of arrest mo masyadong malawak, okay? Masyadong vague. Pero, buti na lang, meron akong kilalang isang Boy Tigas. Um... I um I can bring him to you without any further description. Can the police officer supply the lacking description or information? Dahil may kilala ka lang boy, tigas, automatically, di ba? Siya na yun. Tama ba yun? So, no, no. Police officer cannot use any discretion. Police of- officers cannot use any information personal to them. The particular description must rest on the description of the warrant of itself, warrant itself, and not on the circumstances which are personal to the serving officers. Okay? So, ikaw na police ka, hindi mo pwedeng supplyan ng personal knowledge mo yung warrant of arrest or search warrant because it talks about life, liberty, and property of the person. So, dahil lang pers- may personal knowledge ka, we're gonna rely for your personal knowledge. Dapat impliedly, expressly, nakalagay sa warrant of arrest. 35. 
SPO3 Bulldog executed the search warrant to size 20 kilograms of shabu and 10 kilograms of marijuana at a specific house. Indicate in the search warrant. Upon arriving at a place, si SPO3 Bulldog nakita niya sa, sa taas ng lamesa yung 10 pirasong granada at 5 kilong cocaine. So, itong si SPO3, kinuha niya yung granada at saka yung cocaine together with the sh sh shabu and marijuana. Ang tanong, ang kinuha niya bang granada at cocaine ay gagamitin ay, ay pwedeng gamitin or tanggapin ng korte bilang ebidensya? Eh wala naman yun, di ba? Sa search sa ano niya, sa search warrant. So that is a no. Hindi yan gagamit, hindi yan matatanggap sa korte kasi hindi naman yun included sa search warrant. So kailangan yung included lang sa search warrant. Let's go with 36. SPO2 PO was directed to execute a search warrant to size dynamites under for illegal fishing at the house of fisherman. Fisher is the SPO2 PO eventually found the dynamites but still looked further under the wooden floor. Even if the fisherman de demanded for police to stop the search, since he already found the dynamites, but to no avail and SPO3 um, PO eventually found bags of marijuana. Is a, a marijuana admissible as evidence in the court? So, A, yes, because marijuana is illegal under Republic Act 9165. Grabe, no? Um, actually, this would be the type of question na haharapin nyo bilang um, criminology students. So, hindi dapat ang question nyo ay parang parang napaka ano, yes or no, or parang who is the mother, the father, and the brother and the sister. Ang question is dapat more on application. Okay? As, as one of the latest TOS o table of specification ng PRC, kailangan ganito, naka, naka ano siya, naka situational. So, let's go with 37. In example of the scenario above, let's say for instance that marijuana found cannot be used as evidence against a fisherman. Pero, si SPO to PO, ba pwede niyang kumpiskahin yun kahit na hindi yun pwedeng gamitin um, ebidensya laban kay um, sa fisherman? So, what is the answer? Siyempre, pwede pa rin yun, di ba? Pwede niyang kumpisikahin yun kasi it's illegal but it could be returned to the accused eventually. So, go with 38. Without search warrant, ang dalawang police officer ay pumunta sa loob ng bahay ni Pedro Penduco para maghanap ng shabu. Because may mga usap-usapan sa barangay na si Pedro ay isang drug pusher. Nung kakatok na yung dalawang police officer sa pinto ni Pedro, ah, sinabi nila yung purpose nila, na, hoy, nandito kami para, ano, dahil may usap-usapan na ikaw ay drug pusher, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Pero ito naman si Pedro ay pumayag politely at binigyan niya ng consent yung mga police officer na pumasok sa bahay niya. Pero nakakita mga police officer ng 10 kilograms ng shabu sa taas ng dining table ni Pedro. Valid search ba yun? Ang question, valid search ba yun? Of course, um, 38, no because, um, because Article 2, Article 3, Bill of Rights says that the state cannot under regional search and issue without valid of, warrant of arrest. Yes, when the owner of the premises consent or voluntary submit to the search, this is a valid warrant test search. Um, it depends, it depends wearing, so, for you, what would be the answer on this? Kasi, ba, upon knocking, Pedro politely agree. Diba? And consented for the police officer to enter his house. So, that is valid. Already valid. Kasi, yes, when the owner of the premises consent or voluntary submit to search, that is valid warrantless search. Kasi, yung mismo si Pedro na nagsabi na, oh, sige, pasok po kayo. Diba? Um, search po. That's valid. 39. 
Under the revised rules of court, there can be warrantless arrest in the following. Except, ito na naman si except. So, meron daw mga warrantless arrest sa mga sumusunod. Alin daw yung hindi? So, A, when in his presence, person cannot be arrested is actually committing um, committing or attempting to commit or has to just committed the offense. Oh my gosh, ang pangit ng line-line ko. Wait lang, wait lang. Um, 39, that's sorry, that's D. Yung ingin ng aso. <laughs> that's letter Oh my gosh. Sorry, when the person to be arrested is person on bail. So, under the revised rules of under the revised rules of court, um, walang warrantless arrest sa mga sumusunod maliban sa kung ang person na inaresto ay nakapagpiyansa. Okay? So, let's go with 40. Wait lang. Grabe, ang dami na pala to. <laughs> Baka magamit ko pa to sa midterm at hindi ko na to ituro lahat eh. Okay. We have 37. Thirty seven. That's thirty four. Sige, sige, tapusin na muna siguro natin to ng hanggang 50. Wait lang. We have 35. Wait lang. Medyo mali ako dito sa 35. And sa 36. Thirty-eight. Wait lang. I'm I'm st I will be stand corrected here in thirty-five, thirty-six, and thirty-seven. Eto pala. Um, kasi we have different court rulings kasi dito. Okay. So may bago nga pala tayong court rulings when it comes with um the specific case. Okay. Eto si Lilinawin ko, si SPO 3 Bulldog ay nag-execute ng search warrant para kunin ang 20 kilograms ng shabu at 10 kilograms ng marijuana sa isang specific house. At nakalagay naman yung sa search warrant. Pagdating niya sa bahay or sa lugar na pag search warrant niya, si SPO 3 Bulldog ay nakakita sa taas ng table ng 10 pirasong granada at 5 kilograms ng cocaine. Si SPO 3, kinuha niya yung lahat. Yung shabu, yung marijuana, yung cocaine, at yung granada. So, ang tanong, yung kinuha bang granada at cocaine ay tatanggaping ebidensya sa korte. So, ang, ang sagot dito is, um, it's yes ha. Sorry, I will be stand corrected here. Yes. Wait lang. Bagoy natin yung color. Okay, um... That is, yes, because this is incidental to lawful search and size with plain view doctrine. Okay, ganito. 
class, ang plain view doctrine is yung nakita mo sa mata mo bilang police officer, plain view. No? Hindi mo na kailangan ng warrant ng search warrant doon. Kasi nakita mo eh, di ba? Alam mong bawal ang granada, bawal ang shabu, bawal ang marijuana. You can confiscate it. And it's incent, um, incidental to lawful search. Lawful search na yun, di ba? Kahit sabihin naman na wala yung hindi naman nakalagay sa search warrant yung granada o yung marijuana o yung cocaine, provided nakita mo na, kukunin mo yon, Okay? So, I will be stand corrected here. Kasi meron tayong recent jurisprudence with that. Sa 36 naman, et, ito yung kwento dyan. Si SPO2 PO ay inutusang mag-execute ng search warrant para kumpiskahin ang dinamita na ginagamit sa illegal na pangingisda sa isang bahay ng isang mangingisda. So, tawagin natin siyang si Fisher Isda. So, si SPO2, eventually, nakakita siya ng <clears throat> dinamita but still look further under the wooden floor even if fisherman demanded for the police to stop the search since he already found the dynamites <clears throat> but no to avail diba nag um, na, nakita na ni SPO2 PO yung dinamita pero si itong si SPO2 PO naghahanap pa rin siya dun sa ilalim ng wooden floor tapos sabi nung mangisda Tumigil na po kayo mag-search kasi nakita niyo naman na yung dinamita namin, di ba? Ba't ka pa nagsisearch? Pero, eventually, itong si SPO2 PO ay nakakita ng mga bag na may lamang marijuana. So, ang tanong, ito bang marijuana na to na kukumpiskahin ni SPO2 ay tatanggaping ebidensya sa korte? So, the answer is, D ha? No. This is a fruit of poisonous tree and therefore not admissible in the court. So, pag sinabi natin, fruit of poisonous tree doctrine, ito yung mga ebidensyang kinuha mo na labag sa loob or illegal mong kinuha. Kasi sinabi na nga ni, ano, ba? Diba? Sinabi na ni Fisher, um, Fisherman, sabi niya, Dem- um, Fisherman demanded for the police to stop the search since they already found the dynamites but no to avail pinitigilan na siya ng Fisherman ba't ka naghahanap? kahit sabihin pa na illegal ang marijuana nakita mo na bagbag yan at dadalhin mo yan sa sabihin lang sa'yo ng korte hindi pwede yung gamitin ebidensya laban sa kay Fisherman is that kasi nga That is poisonous tree doctrine. Hindi naman niya yan sinabi na, oh, sige, hanapin mo dito yung ano, ba? Diba? So, kailangan, alam niyo yan ha, mga future police officer and law enforcement officer. Let's go with 37. Um, in the example scenario above, sa example ng scenario sa above, sa sinabi na, sa kwento natin, um, let's say na itong marijuana na to ay hindi nakita Um, marijuana found cannot be used as evidence against the fisherman. So, sabi na natin, alam naman ni nung police na, ay, marijuana to. Hindi naman to magagamit na um, ebidensya laban dito sa mangisda na to. Kasi, ano, kasi illegal ko tong kinuha. Kasi, um, pinipigilan niya na ako. Mag-search pa, nag-search ako. Pero ang tanong, si SPO2 ba, PO, pwede niya pa rin kumpiskahin yung marijuana? So, pwede niya pa rin? Bang, confiscation syempre naman, oo, that's illegal eh, ba diba? So, yes, it could be confiscated but cannot be used as evidence against the accused because it is not subject of the search warrant. So, that's A. As in, it's illegal, ba diba? It's marijuana. Diba? Nakita mo na marijuana. You can just confiscate it. Pero, for, it's your um, obligation, um, with, with your knowledge, hindi mo yun pwedeng gamitin laban sa kanya. That is a valid exercise of police power. Napakalawak ng police power. Mga ihot iha. So, let's go with 39. 39, pa rin ha. Kapag under the revised rules ng court, there can be warrantless arrest sa mga sumusunod. Pero isa lang ang hindi niya masubject for warrantless arrest. Ay yung mga taong nasa bill na. Okay? Meron ng piyansa. Hanggang 50 lang tayo dito kasi gagamitin pa natin tong ano. Ooh, so, let's go with 40. F, um, Fire Officer 1, go. Ay, naglalakad pa uwi. 
galing sa duty niya. Nung nakakita siya sa ali ng isang taong may kutsilyo. At pinipilit niya yung babaeng ibigay sa kanyang wallet niya. Pero ito si Fire Officer Juan ay pigla na lang lumapit at up, um, arestohin yung lalaki na may kutsilyo. At di nala sa police station. So the man said that his right to unlawful arrest was violated. Sabi ng lalaki, ang kanyang karapatan laban sa illegal na pag-aresto ay na-violate. Naniniwala ba kayo? Provided na Fire Officer 1 si Go. So, the answer is... Um, so, the answer is no, di ba? The incident is valid search, warrant, uh, valid warrantless arrest. Kasi nga... Si Fire Officer is a law enforcer. Kahit sabi naman bombero yan eh. Law, law enforcer yan, di ba? Bakit polis lang ba ang law enforcer? So, eh, one of the size na yun. Ano yun eh? You're actually committing the act. Di ba? Kailangan ko pa bang kumuha ng warrant pa para lang ma- kumpis, ma- um, ma-aresto ka? Of course, hindi, di ba? Let's go with 4 to 1. What does infragrante infra delicto require? So, it requires that a person making the arrest or commission of the offense must be done in the presence of the person making the arrest. Katulad na nangyari sa nangyari sa ibabaw dyan, yung gagawa ng aresto, nakita niya mismo na ginagawa yung krimen. Actually, uh, diba, tinatakot niya yung babae na bigay mo yung wallet mo sa akin. Hindi, sasaksakay kita. Diba? There's already a threat diba? and intimidation. Let's go with 42. Two tests to determine whether or not there is a reasonable expectation or pri- of privacy. So that is B, subjective and objective test. Test test. Ba, dito yung sa kabila. Subjective and objective test. Actually, no, malabas sa board exam yan. Subjective and objective test. Let's go with 43. It's one of the cases na ating dinala si Dr. Vicky Velo and Attorney Guevara. Diba? Eh, um, already to- it's already talks about the um, um, responsible usage of social media. Kaya tayo ay mag-ingat. Kaya tayo gagawa ng, um, tayo ay gagamit ng social media. We should um, use it with caution and dapat with respect with among others na nakakabasa at mm, nakakakita ng yung mga post in social media. Just go with 43. Attorney Guevara, diba? Si Attorney Guevara ay nagpost ng mga strong statements laban kay Dr. Vicky Bello. Ito ay administrative cases for disbarment, diba? Pag sinabing disbarment, you could be disbarred or matanggal ka bilang lawyer. During the proceedings, Si Attorney Guevara ay sinabi niya na ang mga statements na yun ay private. Kasi ang nakakakita lang naman nun ay mga friends niya. Pero ang question sa case na to is, may violation ba yun sa privacy? La- laban kay Attorney Guevara? No, of course, it is, is it, ba? Kasi provided. Um... Um... Provided na... Oh nga, friends mo nakakabasa. Pero, yung mga friends mong yun, ay may mga friends of friends of friends of friends. Then, they could share it, their comment, they could interact. And there is already a violation of privacy. Your strong statements is not only be um, available for your friends in social media, but also to the public na. Kasi your friends also have friends. And the friends of your friends also have friends. And the friends of the friends of the, your friends is already have friends. And it could be spread among like a fire. So, there is a violation already. So, the answer here is, um, is there a violation of privacy against Attorney Guevara? Um, the, the 43 is V. No, the, the Supreme Court said that in order to be titled of the right of privacy, um, the actor must show that he has uh, ex- exhibited an expectation of privacy and the expectation of privacy should be considered as reasonable. Um, let's go. Hindi niya kasi nagamit yung ano na yun eh, claim na it's private. Let's go with 43. 
What if one of the classes and during lecture period of attorney GBT, one of the participants or student recorded the lecture without the consent of attorney GBT? Can attorney GBT say that her right to privacy was violated and he can file an action for anti wiretapping law against the student? Diba? Provided na, ngunwari, nagle-lecture yung, yung professor and then you're... you're <laughs> You do a video recording of that lecture without the knowledge of the one who's doing the um, the class or um, during uh, doing the lecture. So can we say um, can we file a case against the student for the violation of anti wiretapping law to the student? So I guess, diba? <laughs> I guess, <laughs> grabe naman. So the answer would be here is C. No, the anti war tapping law prohibits an authorized recording or private communication in this case. There are other person inside the room and communication could be considered private. You have to remember it, class. Anti war tapping law is private communication. When we say private communication, there could be one, two, or three. And uh, provided in the lecture class, most of you. 40 kayo, tapos may isang nagsasari, it's not already a private conversation anymore. So, if there would be a student or going to record your class, that, that's not a violation of underwear tapping law. Yeah, let's go with 4 to 5. Um, supposing Tiger and Ashwar were having a private com- communication or discussion and Ashwar recorded a private conversation, is it a violation of underwear tapping law? Nako. So, of course na, no? Kasi it's a private communication. Yes. The law does not disagree who may violate the law because Section 1 of the Republic Act 4200 expressly provides that it shall be unlawful for any person not authorized by the law parties to any private communication. 46. Supposing the private communication between two persons ay na-intercept or na-overhear ng third party sa isang telephone extension wire. Violation ba to ng Republic Act 4200 o anti-wire tapping law? So, you know what? It's no way. Kasi the extension telephone is not one not one of those enumerated under the law which can be used in violating the law. So, private communication, na intercept lang o narinig ng third party dahil sa telephone extension wire is not violation of R842200. Um, what problem with here is that the law cannot just um, conjive what we have current technology that we're having right now. Kasi, Actually, under wiretapping law, they think that person were going to wiretap or overhear the conversation through a manual communication wire. Overtap, like parang kung may wire na ng telephone, nag-overtap ka lang. Eh ba napaka advanced na ng technology natin. You can just overhear conversation by using public wifi, di ba? Napakadami na technologies. But ang problem is, hindi makasabay ang legislation sa kung ano na yung technologies natin. Kaya, hindi rin natin mabigyan ng akmang parusa yung mga taong talagang lumalabag. ba Actually, diba? um If you're having for no... Um, I have to say excuse me for those person who are just um, doing a record of their sexual intercourse hindi ko alam kung ba't nila record and then without their knowledge kapag sila ay nakakonek sa isang public wifi lahat ng mga images, pictures, message with the right amount of technology and knowledge maa-access nila yon and then yung mga hubot-hubot mong katawan and video ay ibebenta nila through online ba that's already a violation but there's no law passed with that particularly um, crime kasi hindi tayo makasabay but yeah, let's go with this. 47. Supposing that there was no violation of Republic Act 4200 when third party intercept the private communication of two persons via telephone extension line, can the person um, present the lawyer to prove the matters that they have discussed? 
can the person present the lawyer to prove the matters that they have discussed? So the answer is no, diba? It constitutes the violation of Section 2, Paragraph, Section 3, Paragraph 2 of Article 3 of the Constitution, which provides that any evidence of the violation of this proceeding section shall be inadmissible in any purpose and any proceeding. Crap, they have no? Let's go with 48. Again, 50 lang tayo, siguro. Para hindi natin ma over consume it yung ano. Sige, 48. They're so important that in case of Bayan versus Ermita, the Supreme Court, sinabi niya, ng first point to mark is that the right to peaceably um, assemble and petition for redress of grievances is together with the freedom of speech or expression and of the press. A right that enjoy primacy in the realm of constitutional protection for these rights constitute a very basis of a function, functional democratic um, polity without of all other rights could be meaningless and unprotected so ano yun so anong section yung freedom of speech and expression and the press so it's already included in our long quiz so dapat alam nyo to no that's D the article 4 section section 4 article 3 of the bill of rights let's go with 49 the freedom are con the following are considered as exercise of one's free uh one's freedom of speech except so alin yun, di ba? expression includes publicly humiliating and privilege and poor people so hindi yan freedom of speech ha yung harap harap mong nilalait lait yung mga unprivileged and may hirap na tao okay and uh, of course di ba one of the yung gumagawa ng remix ng ama namin yung hindi ko kakilala puta Pura bega ba yun? And then, di ba? Oo nga, you're citing your rights for freedom of expression and press. But it's not absolute, di ba? It's offending the religious feelings of those faithful. Di ba? Yung mga damdamin ng mana ng palataya. And then, ginagawa mo yan sa, di ba? Lumala, um, citing ka ng your right to, rights to expression. Actually, kahit ako ay hindi ako katoliko, medyo nakakasama ng loob yun, di ba? Imagine, di ba, kung ikaw ay mananampalataya and then yung um, image ng religious image nyo is sinasayaw niya and then ginagawa niyang drag, nakaka-offend yun, di ba? So, you can do, you can say whatever you want, but provided na hindi ka lumalabag or you're not crossing your boundary because Right to your speech, freedom to your speech and expression and express is not absolute at all. Yeah, diba? So, let's go with 50. What are the other individuals or group of individuals who are be subjected to public discussion and even criticism? So, be people in, um, involved in public issue. Hence, even if the person is not public figure or public official, people can talk about this. His activities, if, if especially if he's involved in public issue. So, kasi, diba sabi nga nila, um, ano to? What happened? Sorry. Sabi nga nila, if you're a public servant, you should consider yourself as an open book. Open book. Yung parang isang isang librong bukas, di ba? Kasi people were keep on talking about you. Actually, para ka nang walang online space eh. Anong ginagawa mo? Anong kinakain mo? Anong buhay mo? Papakailaman nila at papakailaman nila because you are a public figure. You are a public official. So your issue is at some other point, may be considered as public issue. Katulad ng bagong, um, katulad ni Britney Spears, di ba? Yung kanyang bagong sinabi sa memoir niya na siya ay ganito, siya ay ganyan. So, alam naman ng mga, natin, mga netizens, hindi natin alam minsan sinong kakampihan. So, actually, maapekto ng yung mental state, emotional state. But, it, it's, it's like that. So, you should open yourself for 
criticism and public discussion. Say, you are a public officer, a public official and um, public figure. Mga artista, di ba? Mga blogger. Ganyan. So, get ready. So, let's go with 51. People in exercise of right to free speech can discuss the activities of Arbin Balag, who is a member of fraternity in U UST. Na involved sa isang hazing incident, which resulted the death of the one of the new pilots, Mr. Castillo. Can Mr. Balag invoke his right to privacy? So, no, no? So, the answer is no, because Mr. Balag is not a public officer. Um, or public figure. Since he is involved in public issue, can talk about this without violating his right to privacy. So, let's go with 51. 52 na ba? Do employees in private sector have the right to assemble and petition? So, yes, no right to assemble and petition enjoys primacy in the realm. Constitution protection, they are no, I don't know, I hit it. But also political rights. Um, 53, na ano natin to, no? Um, true. Kailangan yung mga territorial freedom parks is no permit required. With 54, we have B. Ano yung ko na lahat para tumalino kayo. 55 is D, inadmissible. 56 is P, correspondence. 57, we have D, freedom of retribution. So, sabi natin yan kanina. 58, we have B, balancing interest, interest test. 59, we have Dangerous Tendency Doctrine. 60, we have this clear and present danger rule. 61, actually, it's no, diba? So, we have false. 62, we have A. 63, um, A pa rin. By bus operation, A pa rin gamitin. Yung mga ebidensya na kuha doon ay pwedeng gamitin sa korte because it's a legitimate police operation. 64, we have A. 65 is another A. 66, we have A. 67 is C. Clear and present danger test. 68, we have B. Balancing interest test. Um, 69. A. Religion. 70 is B. Test. 71 is A. 72 is abstract right. 73. We have A. Subject to regulation. Tapos na kasi na discuss na natin yung kanina. 74D 75A 76A 77 we have C 78 we have C pa din to form association 79 we have A, freedom of religion. In 80, we have B, religion must not involve immoral code, ba? Kasi hindi na yan, valid. 81, we have D, the third requisite, sincerity of belief. 82, C, is not taxable because any money that's part of the religious activity ay hindi tinataksan. 83, we have B, False, the separation of church and state. We have B. Um, 84. A. Liberty of abode. 85. We have A. 86. B. 87. We have B. 88. We have B. 89. A. Kasi yung sa pandemic yun, di ba? Ayan. 90. We have B. 
91 we have a 92 obligation of contract must be implied when the terms of obligation is changed below without consent of other or within the position of rights of the latter 93 tapos that's d article 11 article 3 section 11 94 that's B, secure. 95 is D. 96 is examination. 97 is probable cause. 98 is equal protection of law. And 99 is C, because there are especially minimum is need assistant of the government. So, yeah, no? Sana pumasa kayo sa midterms exams nyo. And good luck. So, the midterm exam would be next week. The, for lo Monday, that's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. For Tuesday, that's Echo, Foxtrot, um, Hotel, and Golf. And for Friday is Q, Quebec, Tango, Romeo, and Sierra. So, good luck. Sana pumasa kayo. And, yeah, study harder because, you know what? We have certain conditions those students already failed the prelims exam, kailangan yung bumawi for these prelims. Or else, maghahabol kayo for pre-finance and your finance. So, see you students! Aral mabuti!